Hi you guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. It is your girl Bridget and today I am bringing you guys um, a video or a vlog on um, styling um, my coffee table, um, my credenza, and the shelf. Um, this shelf I have actually been talking about for quite some time now. I finally got around to styling it and thought that I would just make a video of um, um, the this, this shelf, uh, my coffee table, the coffee table that's in my living room, and um, a credenza that I have. Um, but before we get started, I wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, thanks for coming back. Um, I really appreciate you. If you are a um, if you're if you're new to stopping by my channel, then I wanted to say welcome, welcome, welcome. I really appreciate you. I hope that you would um, like and subscribe my subscribe to my channel, and um, I hope you like the uh, video and the content that I'm bringing you today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much just get started because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I'm gonna start here with the, I think I'm gonna start with the coffee table. It's just some, some simple setups that I want to show you guys that I've done and I might switch out a couple things, but for right now, you know, I like it how it is. But I think we're gonna start with the video, um, start with the coffee table. And as we go along, I'll tell you like uh, where I got each piece and you know, that kind of stuff. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, this is the coffee table that is in my um, front room, uh, which when this is the room when you first um, enter into the house. Um, this is like the first room you will see, and we don't use this room too often, but um, this is the first room that you come in, so I did want it to be, you know, nice and cozy and everything. But um, as far as the items that is on the table, this um, piece here, it's actually a sculpture that um, belongs or was in the bottom of a um, sofa table. It sat at the bottom of a sofa table that we had. And I just took it out because I thought it was really nice and it's heavy, actually. Um, and I just took it out and set it here on the table and put these uh, potpourri balls that I picked up from um, Pottery Barn. I picked up these uh, potpourri bar balls <laughs> from Pottery Barn. And um, you would have seen that bag of potpourri balls in the last uh, video that I did of the items um, that I picked up while I was in Pottery Barn. Um, also, this uh, little Buddha Dow that we have here. He is old, as you can see, he uh, starting to chip a little bit, but I actually like like that character. So I probably won't even paint it or anything like that. I just like like the character of it and everything. I don't, I don't remember where I got this little Buddha. I've had this for a while now. Uh, I don't know where I got him from actually, but I like it. I thought it was cute just to sit on the uh, coffee table here. And this here, this is heavy. Um, this is actually like a handmade um, vase. And if you'll notice, I've got like the blacks and the creams like pretty much um, throughout the house because I really like black and I like cream as well. Um, and as far as these books, well, this vase, uh, I think I picked, I picked this vase up at a um, thrift store actually. I think I picked this up at a thrift store if I'm not mistaken and it's pretty old um, and then as far as the books here I always like um, books on my coffee tables on my consoles I love decorating with books so you'll see like different books throughout my house um, and most of these I've had like for a long time um, well, I think I got a sticker on there let me see take that off i didn't realize i had a sticker on there <laughs> okay ain't no telling how long it's been on there um but anyways these books are just like uh some books that i've picked up along the way just you know over the years and i'll just switch them out as i go from like room to room or whatever 
but they're pretty much just uh, books on decorating. But this bottom book here is actually a, um, this I Dream a World, that's actually a um, book of uh, portraits of black women who changed America. I actually really like this. I sit and flip through it sometimes because I love the pictures in it. And it's um, like some pretty good stories also. Alrighty, and of course I have to have the uh, RH books. I actually decorate with these books. I love RH, Restoration Hardware, so you'll see a few of these throughout my house. Um, throughout, like when they have different ones that come in throughout the seasons and stuff like that, I'll pick them up when I go in there and I put them on uh, my coffee table or different... Um, shelves or whatever and I like to like look for um, inspiration and stuff like that I love restoration hardware so you'll always see um, like the restoration hardware books throughout my home because like I said um, I like it like to use them for inspiration because I hardly ever buy anything out of um, RH and I'm gonna move on to these candlesticks I actually we got these for our um wedding gift um i've been married now for a long time <laughs> 20 some years and we actually got these wedding sticks um for for our wedding uh, anniversary our realtor had um purchased them for us so those are pretty old and then of course the glasses there that everybody has i'm thinking about painting those glasses gold i picked those up at um where did i pick those up at um home goods marshall someplace like that and i really like them i think that they're just cute and quirky um as far as the table this table is very old um we've had it and i just i i switch it around from room to room whenever i feel like um you know just switching stuff out but we've had that for quite a while and i like how simple the table is set up um every now and then i might switch out and maybe put like a bouquet or, you know, whatever on there and I'll switch the stuff out. But I like just nice, clean simplicity. And pretty much that's what um, that's what I'm getting from the table here. And I'm going to switch the camera around because I want to show you this table. This is a um, just the mirror table. And... I've just got it styled, you know, with the candle holders, the Buddha, again, with some more books, because I told you guys, I love books and I like, uh, like neutral color books. I like the blacks and the creams when it comes to books. Um, the Buddha head I got from, is that a Buddha head? I got from, uh, Pier One. These, um, candle holders here, uh, I got from a furniture store here in Ohio and it's called Furniture Row. This um, little statue here, this thing is so heavy. I happen to be in Kroger and I saw it and was like, oh, that's cute and unique. And I like, of course, the black and cream. So I picked that up and um, it was on clearance. So that made it even better. Um, so I haven't had that for too long. That's actually a pretty new piece. Um, and then the lamp here I picked up from Pottery Barn and that thing it's a lot bigger than what is coming across here on camera. And it is so heavy. I love it. Hi, you guys. Sorry about that. My uh, camera actually went out and I'm not sure what happened, but I am back uh, filming again. I think we left off here at this table. Um, this is just a mirrored table that I have had for quite some time. And um, the items that's on here, I've also had for quite some time. The only thing that's pretty much new is this item right here, which I picked up um, when I was shopping in Kroger, actually. The lamp is from Pottery Burn. These three uh, candle holders or vases here, I picked up at um, a furniture store here, I believe. I, I believe I got those from a furniture store. Um, and then the Buddha head I picked up from Pier One. The books I've had for quite a while as well, and um, I told you guys before, you will see books like throughout my house as um, like risers or I use them for decorative pieces as well. Um, and I, I usually tend towards the like cream or black 
books. I just like decorating with books. Um, and I've also stated before that uh, most of the pieces that you'll see throughout my home, um, you'll see them in different areas. I usually recycle my pieces. I am really big about uh, using what you have. I'm gonna spin this around while I'm talking. And um, again, this is a picture of the, or a look at the coffee table. Um, I'm gonna go right here to the credenza because I styled this as well. Um, and what I was saying, the pieces that you'll see like in like the credenza, the different shelves and tables and stuff like that, I usually just uh, move them around from space to space or from shelf to shelf or whatever. I like to recycle my items. Uh, I am really big on using what you have and reusing what you have. So you'll see like uh, as I do different vignettes and stuff like that, you'll see them like on different tables and shelves and stuff like that. But as far as this credenza goes, um, it's an old piece. It's from Bassett Furniture, um, which is like pretty popular around the Midwest area. Uh, the candle holders, those are, uh, I think those are from, um, I can't remember where I got those, those these candle holders from. I've got several sets of candle holders, but they're pretty old as well, and I need to change out those candles I've burnt the life out of those um, that picture I picked up at a um, just a little uh, boutique shop that's here in my area and they sell like um, new and used items as far as like the styling on the credenza the candle holders I've had for a long time and I may have gotten those from Dillard I can't remember this uh, tray here actually goes to a sofa table i move it i think when i originally recorded this it was on the coffee table where i moved it from the coffee table and i put it up here because i thought it looked really cute up here but that stone piece actually goes to a um sofa table a glass sofa table that i have and i moved that into the basement um and then this little double knot right here um I picked that up at Target and it was a collab that Target was doing with, I can't remember the designer, but anyways, I picked that up from Target. And the books, of course, um, these are older books um, that I just moved around and placed them up here. This little pottery here, I've had for quite a while, love it. Just put it up there for a pop of color. And this jar here was actually um, white and it had yellow and green sunflowers like all over the jar. And I just spray painted it because I wanted it to be cream. So I spray painted it and that is the result of that. Um, just gonna step back so you all can see the credenza. And like I said, this credenza is an older piece. These knobs here or the drawer pulls were a brassy gold like this and I just spray painted them. I thought I was spray painting them gold, but it's like a, I don't know what this color is here. I don't like that. So I'm going to take them off and spray paint them again so that they could be like a brassy gold and I have to actually repaint these as well. I didn't do this one. This one is faded and, and the drawer pulls were faded as well, which is why I was spray painting them. But for whatever reason, it didn't, the gold, it's, it's like a funny gold. So I want it to be more of a brassy gold. Um, so it'll match like the legs here and then like more of this kind of gold. So that is it for the credenza. Um, this uh, ginger jar here is um, another older piece and it actually has the markings and everything on it so it's an older piece and I really like it. Um, I had thought about spray painting this ginger jar like a solid white but then I, I decided not to because it's actually a pretty good piece and I like the colors in it. Um, and no I am not into like the matchy matchy I think as long as things flow then that is what really matters to me. This is what I have on the table now because like I said before I had that um, this um, sculpture here I had that in the table but after my phone died 
and then I ended up like straightening up in here like a day or so later and I ended up moving this um, onto the table. Like I said, I move stuff around all the time and I actually like that up there. And I also added this um, little um, vase here. I spray painted that as well. It was cream and I spray painted it black. And that is the sofa, I'm sorry, that is the table that I have decorated for now. And then I showed you guys this table as well. And I'm swinging the camera around the credenza. I really like this credenza. I'm, I'm, the items that I have on here won't stay on any of these pieces. Um, like I said, I like to switch things around. So for this week, this is how it's styled. That picture is really old. I'm going to also show you guys a um, shelf that I, I talked about a couple videos ago. And I finally um, did some changes to that. And I think I've changed it about three times since I originally talked about it. So I'm going to show you guys that shelf really quick. All righty. And here is that shelf. It is um, five. I think it has like five shelves on it. And I picked this piece up at um, Art Van. I picked this up at Art Van, actually. And when I originally showed it to you guys, like a couple videos back, it was not decorated like this at all. I had just some pieces that I had thrown up there just for the time, uh, time being. And I knew that it was not going to stay like that. So as of right now, these are the items that I have on here. Um, these here I picked up from the at-home store. This vase I've had for a very long time. I believe I picked this up at Mar Marshall's Home Goods. One of those, either Marshall's or Home Goods. And then my plant, I've got plants throughout my home because I love plants. Um, this little pot here is actually a flower pot, but I like to use it just for decor. And I picked that up at Home Goods. This is from, I think I got this at Pottery Barn. I think that's from Pottery Barn. These bookends I've had forever, ever. And I picked those up at TJ Maxx probably like 15 years ago. Um, and they're just some marble uh, black bookends. This little marble, marble uh, piece is actually a candle holder. And I've had it for a long, long time. Um, it's really solid too, but it's just a candle holder. Um, and let me step back. This is a piece that I picked up from my grandmother. She had it for years, um, and it's a really old piece, so I don't know where she got that from. It's really heavy as well. This book is really old. This is another book I like to decorate with books, I told you guys. And it's the, the cover of this is black. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's a huge book. Um, these pieces I picked up at uh, Kohl's. I actually did a haul on this, and this was included in that. These three pieces came from Kohl's, and they're from the uh, the Property Brothers from HGTV. This is their line. Um, this little sculpture here is actually um, it's like a ceramic sculpture sculpture, and it is it's pretty heavy. I passed by this thing like a million times when I originally bought it because it was orange. And I was like, why would that be orange? Not cute at all. And finally, I was in the store and it was still in there like months later. And I picked it up and brought it home and spray painted it um, black. I think I'm going to actually change it out to cream pretty soon because it's been black for a while. So I spray painted that black. This uh, metal leaf here. Um, it's huge. This is a pottery barn, um, fine, but I actually picked it up from the thrift store. I got it for just a couple dollars and these little birds here, they are old as well. And I changed those out from time to time. And right now I'm just, I just got them sitting up here and this was originally on my, um, dining uh table and i just took that off and i had something else sitting here i don't know why i moved that 
I don't know why I moved it, but I had something else sitting there, and I, I don't know what I did with it, actually. So, but, and then these forks and spoons here, those are old. I've got a couple pair of um, forks and spoon sets and knife and spoon sets, like, throughout the kitchen and the dining room area because I've always liked this. These little um, fork and spoons remind me of when I was a little girl. My mom always had, like, the huge set uh, hanging on the wall, so I've always been drawn to, um, like, the wooden fork and spoon sets but so far this is how I'm gonna have it for now um, I'm sure within the next month or so or a couple of weeks or whatever I'll change it out again but for now this is how I have it and I really like it and like I said guys use the items that you have in your home when you're thinking about um, rearranging things or buying new things or you just want to refresh go throughout your home and search in different rooms and pull stuff from uh, shelves or closets or wherever that you may have forgotten about and restyle it. Um, I'm all about saving money and just having a comfy, cozy house. Um, I don't normally buy stuff just because the next person has it. Um, I buy pretty much what I like. And I'm just going to show you guys the dining table because this is what I have on there for now. Um, before I had, like I said, that little piece that, that I have on the um, shelf now. And I just switched this vase out and put it over here with those flowers. And for right now, this is how I'm liking it. And I'm going to wrap this video up. But so far, this is everything. And I'm going to restyle the table out there pretty soon. And I'm going to be bringing you guys a video of that. Um, Again, I wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I'm going to swing this around. I'm going to show you guys this other shelf that I have while I'm recording. This is, this is um, another shelf. This one is actually in my family room. Um, and I've had it for a long time. I think I got this from Pier 1. I think this is from Pier 1. And I just got a couple like, um, this is my granddaughter, um, both pictures are of her, and I just got like some family photos and stuff like that in there. Um, just another shelf. I love decorating shelves and stuff like that, and I just kind of move the items around from room to room, and... Um, you know, just, I don't, I'm not one of those ones that decorate with the seasons and stuff like that. I just, I use stuff as I feel. Um, I, these, I don't even know why I put those down there. I don't know. They're supposed to be somewhere. But anyways, like I said, I use what I like in different, and I don't do different seasonal or, or seasonal decorations and stuff like that other than like Christmas. And I might put out some items for Thanksgiving or something like that, but I usually don't decorate um, like every season or every holiday or anything like that. I just kind of do, um, you know, whatever I feel like for that time. And right now, this is how I want these shelves to be. Um, and when I do an update, I'll definitely uh, bring you guys along for that as well. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video because I'm rambling and I'm really tired. Um, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you have not already done so, then please like, subscribe, and feel free to share this video. I look forward to uh, speaking with you guys or um, sharing more content with you guys in the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Thumbs up this video, please, and have a blessed, blessed day.